I think the Tick is like the, the purest superhero ever. He is just a creature that exists for good, to protect people, save people, and uh, uphold good decency and values. And Arthur is uh, a young man who's racked with guilt and neuroses and mental trauma. And uh, he has some things that the Tick doesn't have, namely awareness and uh, sort of strategic thinking and the ability to discern what uh, should be done and what shouldn't be done. And so Arthur and the Tick team up in order to successfully make like one whole human being. New York has such an energy to it that you can't recreate and you get that for free if you film here. I mean, it was interesting because we have two guys dressed up like full superheroes in the middle of the street and strangers walking by acknowledged us but they weren't that freaked out by it. New York City, you've seen more. So people just walk by and go, hey, nice suit while we were rolling, just unfazed, you know? So it, it felt really like we were in a real, a real superhero show sometimes. Fans of The Tick, of the previous versions, can expect uh, a version that I think uh, is, is Ben Edlin, who created the property, who's been responsible for all the versions, kind of views as his ultimate realization of these characters, a sort of grander, more epic, deeper, more emotional, more thrilling, and hopefully also funnier version of this, uh, this story that people have loved so far, these characters that people have connected with, and people who are not fans of The Tick will be able to enjoy as well because it's a totally fresh start. There's nothing you need to know. You're going into the first episode with the same knowledge that everyone else has. Well, Arthur's catchphrase from the comics and the cartoon was always, not in the face. That was his battle cry when they were going into fights. He'd just go, not in the face, not in the face, because he's very practical. You know, he's not trying to intimidate anyone. He's just trying to protect the moneymaker. So I, I was a big, big fan of that. I relate to that very hard.